Hi, so I live by the sea, which is kind of nice, because um, you walk down by the beach, you find all kinds of things, uh, particularly wood, driftwood. And the thing about driftwood is when it's been washed around a little bit, it gets really interesting shapes to it, and, and you can look and do things with these shapes. So what I'm planning on doing here is making a small automata. Um, the idea is going to be a piece of driftwood that would be um, sort of cliff-like, really, and then in front of it I'm going to put a board uh, painted blue with a little wave shape, and then in between those two a boat, and you turn the handle and the boat will rock at sea in front of some cliffs. So I took a walk down by the beach, and I found this. Uh, it's just a lump of oak, I think, probably from a groin, something like that. It's pretty heavy because it's pretty wet, so it needs to dry out, and we need to do a bit of shaping with it. What we're going to do is um, cut it into three parts. So that bit upward is going to be the cliff face I was talking about. This bit we're going to take off and cut into two. One will be the front section where I'll put the waves, and the other will be the little boat behind the waves. So we'll turn the handle here, and the boat will rock up and down in front of those. I might put um, a little pretend lighthouse up on the top here. it would be a bit of dowel that I've turned into a, a elongated cone and then paint it up as a lighthouse. So here are my three bits of timber all sewn up. There you go. So that's going to be the mountain bit that we talked about. That's had a little bit of planning to it. Still needs a bit more, but that's going to be the bit in front. There we go, and this bit here is going to be split down here, probably to make a dowel, and that's going to be the ship that goes behind. Look, there we go, goes behind there, and as we turn the handle, that ship will rock up and down like that. So here's the front part done. I've um, squared it off, sanded it down, and then I drilled these five holes here with the one centimeter drill bit and then hacksawed them off to make the wave shapes and finished off with a little bit of sanding so it makes this kind of wave shape and it's going to sit like that in front of the uh, mountains I should have said I got it this um, blue colour by rubbing it with French Ultramarine uh, Artist Oil Paint put a bit of bit on a cloth and rub it hard, it gets into the wood and it dries really quickly. So here we are with the um, main piece finished. Okay, so what I did here was um, clamp this section to this section and drill all the way through. You don't, I quite like the dowel showing at the front, but if you don't want the dowel showing at the front, drill from the back, but stop before you get all the way through, and then drive the dowel from the back and these will be hidden. As I said, I quite like it, so I just clamped them on. Uh, I drilled them right through and then um, sank in some 6mm dowels and it sits like that and as you can see it's pretty much there so this bit's done uh, it needs a bit of finishing, these need gluing I don't want to glue them yet because we've yet to fit the boat but that's the main section finished and that's what it look like. looks like as I say, well, finished apart from the finishing but there we go so here's the ship after it's been shaped up a little bit. It's obviously not a very complicated piece. Uh, I took that bit that I cut off and then marked it out for this little step section here. I drilled a 6mm hole in before cutting any of this out, otherwise I split the wood, and just dropped a piece of dowel in there to have this little chimney. And you can see it's been drilled out here with a 4mm drill, and that's going to take the crank. So there you go. Like I say, it's more of a suggestion than anything and it's going to fit in there like that. So when we turn the crank handle, it's going to go up and down. Okay? 